Hi, this is Shivara Jaya from vitalcoaching.com. We are talking about breakup dynamics and how to get back into your dating, the dating game. The topic for this video is enjoy your freedom. When you have been in a committed relationship, you know, exclusive with one person for an extended period of time, there's a certain sense of mutual control that happens. You know, you do things for a certain reason. And this reason very often is because you also want to accommodate the other person. You want to keep them present into your life, so you're not going to do things that are really stretching your relationship too far. You're considering the other person. So when you go back to your own space, you go back and it's just you, rediscovering this sense of freedom that you are basically free to do whatever you want. You know, as long as you're not hurting people or other, other human beings or you're not hurting yourself, there is a space of freedom and openness. And so, when you are in this space, in the breakup zone, in this transition zone, before you enter into a new relationship, I encourage you to enjoy this freedom. Because maybe this freedom is a state of being. And it's a, it's a mindset, it's a way of relating to life in which you want to stay for a while. Maybe the idea of jumping straight away into a committed relationship, you go like, um, I'm not going to do that for a while. I'm going to stay free, I'm going to enjoy, I'm going to enjoy uh, free flow with my sex life as well, maybe experiment a little bit with different partners or connect lightly with, uh, with a partner, but without engaging into coupling with somebody. So what happens in that zone is that it allows a new fresh flow of energy to come into your life. You might suddenly discover new passions that you didn't know you had. You might connect with new people, go traveling, have fantastic experiences that were in a way locked and that you couldn't access because of the presence of a partner in your life that was maybe potentially blocking or stopping these experiences to come into your existence. And so now that you are free, now that you can enjoy this freedom, take a moment to just dive into what feels alive for you. There might be things emerging that you really want to tap into. And so before you bring somebody else, you know, another person back into your field, reconnect with this sense of freedom. Reconnect with this sense of sovereignty with your own life. There's no longer a transfer of power. There's no longer a transfer of control between you and your, and, and your partner. Now it's just you, you and your spirit in alignment. Basically what it tells you is that you are free to do what you want. You do what you want. And yes, of course, sometimes you are in a relationship and the degree of freedom is really high. But now it's back to you and yourself, back to you and your spirit. So take a moment to check in internally. What are the things that you want to manifest in your life? What is the reality that you want to bring in your existence right now? What do you want to connect to? What do you want to leave? What kind of career do you want to engage into? How do you want to contribute to the world? How do you want to relate to your social circle? Do you want to create new friendships, bond with men, bond with women? You know, what does it look like? And the thing is that because you're in this space of freedom, it's just you in alignment with yourself. And you will realize when you're in that zone that it can get really juicy. It can get really interesting because you might be much more spontaneous. You might respond to things that before you, you would not you would not see. Somebody comes into your, your day and says, hey, I'm going over there tonight. You go like, sure, let's go. I realize I can do that now. And so this freedom is really juicy. The freedom, the newly regained space of not having to consider somebody else in your choices is really something which, which is precious and, and beautiful. I encourage you to enjoy it.